evening homely masses offered for Antoinette and Joe Randisi. This is a birthday blessing by Kathleen. I saw the holy city, a new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared like a bride adorned for her husband. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. My brothers and sisters, this evening, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, Ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest and on earth. Peace to people of goodwill. We praise you. We bless you. We adore you. We glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who from living and chosen stones prepare an eternal dwelling for your majesty, increase in your church the spirit of grace you have bestowed, so that by new growth your faithful people may build up the heavenly Jerusalem. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The angel brought me back to the entrance of the temple, and I saw water flowing out from beneath the threshold of the temple toward the east, for the facade of the temple was toward the east. The water flowed down from the southern side of the temple, south of the altar. He led me outside by the north gate and around to the outer gate facing the east, where I saw water trickling from the southern side. He said to me, this water flows into the eastern district down upon the Arabah and empties into the sea the salt waters, which makes it fresh. Wherever the river flows, every sort of living creature that can multiply shall live, and there shall be abundant fish. For wherever this water comes, the sea shall be made fresh. Along both banks of the river, 
Fruit trees of every kind shall grow. Their leaves shall not fade, nor their fruit fail. Every month they shall bear fresh fruit, for they shall be watered by the, the flow from the sanctuary. Their fruit shall serve for food, and their leaves for medicine. The word of the Lord. A responsorial psalm. The waters of the river gladden the city of God, the holy dwelling of the Most High. The waters of the river gladden the city of God, the holy dwelling of the Most High. God is our refuge and our strength, an ever-present help in distress. Therefore, we fear not, though the earth be shaken and the mountains plunge into the depths of the sea. The waters of the river gladden the city of God, the holy dwelling of the Most High. There is a stream whose runlets gladden the city of God, the holy dwelling of the Most High. God is in its midst, and it shall not be disturbed. God will help it at the break of dawn. The rivers of the water gladden the city of God, the holy dwelling of the Most High. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. Come, behold the deeds of the Lord, the astounding things he has wrought on earth. The waters of the river gladden the city of God, the holy dwelling of the Most High. Our second reading a reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, you are God's building. According to the grace of God given to me, like a wise master builder, I laid a foundation, and another is building upon it. But each one must be careful how he builds upon it. For no one can lay a foundation other than the one that is there, namely, Jesus Christ. Do you not know that you are the temple of God and that the Spirit of God dwells in you? If anyone destroys God's temple, God will destroy that person. For the temple of God, which you are, is holy. The word of the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. I have chosen and consecrated this house, says the Lord, that my name may be there forever. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia. 
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Since the Passover of the Jews was near, Jesus went up to Jerusalem. He found in the temple area those who sold oxen, sheep, and doves, as well as the money changers seated there. He made a whip out of cords and drove them all out of the temple area with the sheep and the oxen and spilled the coins of the money changers and overturned their tables. And to those who sold doves, he said, Take these out of here and stop making my father's house a marketplace. His disciples recalled the words of Scripture, Zeal for your house will consume me. At this the Jews answered and said to him, What sign can you show us for doing this? Jesus answered and said to them, Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. Jews said, This temple has been under construction for 46 years, and you will raise it up in three days? But he was speaking about the temple of his body. Therefore, when he was raised from the dead, his disciples remembered that he had said this, and they came to believe the scripture and the word that Jesus had spoken. The Gospel of the Lord. Today is the dedication of the, the church, St. John Lateran. And we have another dedication on the 18th of November. That's the dedication of the Basilica, Saints Peter and Paul. Uh, generally, when you think of big churches in Rome, you think of that church on that day, the Basil Basilica of Saints Peter and Paul. But here, we have today the, the first, you might say, home of the Roman Catholic Church. The Laterani family donated a lot of money to, for this church. And it had a beautiful baptistry. It still does. It's just, I say had because <laughs> I had to say it, it's, it's sort of an afterthought in the minds of many Catholics. If you even go to Rome, you probably go there, but it's probably relatively low on your list of priorities. You know, you want to see the Spanish steps or the sort of the, the big, I don't know if, I don't know the exact term, the colonnades, I guess, almost like the church's open space embracing all the pilgrims. And then you got St. Peter's Basilica there. But in Vatican City is this smaller basilica. And this baptistry there has an incredible uh, scene all around it in mosaic. The mosaic is Psalm 40, 42, which references the rivers. So we heard a little bit about this in today's song, but we didn't hear anything about like the animals that are drinking. You know, as the deer longs for running water, so my soul thirsts for you, my God. And the river that we spoke of in our long responsorial psalm, this is one of the longest of the whole year. I, could, I have to look myself in past years. I could see people looking to follow along. It said this, the waters of the river gladden the city of God, the holy dwelling of the Most High. From the river, which is a metaphor for baptism, from that holy water comes our faith. And we often associate baptism with a holy place, but you could be baptized in Lake Ontario. You could be baptized in any stream. And Jesus is getting at something very beautiful, Paul as well. If the holy place of God, that is our faith, let's maybe place is the wrong word, if the holy temple of God that we are exists after baptism, we become God's holy people, then where do we go to find the goodness of God? We have churches, thank God. In some places of the world, they've never had churches, or those churches have been destroyed or have fallen into disrepair. But we can go to a church. How wonderful that is. 
And on this day, we, we dedicate, or we remember the dedication of the center of our faith for so many years. The popes used to reside adjacent to the Lateran Basilica. Um, pretty much everything happened there in terms of Easter Mass and ordinations and things like that until they built St. Peter's. Now, I've struggled maybe to be clear because the world is, well, maybe too much in my mind, and I want to be clear. But let me be very clear here at the end. The Lord wants to purify his temple, even today. He wants to purify the Roman Catholic Church. But he's going to do that by starting with your soul. And so rather than point the finger at some place in Rome or some place on Buffalo Road or anyone other than yourself, this is the place, our soul, where God's holy rivers can become the holy temple, the dwelling of the Most High. We're about to receive, some of us, Holy Communion. And you will be given the Lord of the universe. May he enter a house clean and admitting its need for mercy. None of us are worthy to receive Holy Communion in the fullest sense. So let's call upon his mercy to cleanse our temple. And by cleansing this temple, he will cleanse the whole church because we are one body and we need his help. We need his holy grace that began in baptism. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept, we pray, O Lord, the offering made here, and grant that by it those who seek your favor may receive in this place the power of the sacraments and the answer to their prayers. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in your benevolence you are pleased to dwell in this house of prayer in order to perfect us as the temple of the Holy Spirit, supported by the perpetual help of your grace and resplendent with the glory of a life acceptable to you. Yes, year by year you sanctify the Church, the Bride of Christ, foreshadowed in these visible buildings, so that rejoicing as the mother of countless children, she may be given her place in your heavenly glory. And so, with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of 
the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with blessed Grimwald, Santa Maria, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Salvatore, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life. Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, 
hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Be built up like living stones into a spiritual house, a holy priesthood.
Let us pray. O God, who chose to foreshadow for us the heavenly Jerusalem through the sign of your church on earth, grant, we pray, that by our partaking of this sacrament, we may be made the temple of your grace and may enter the dwelling place of your glory through Christ our Lord. Amen. The, um, I don't know how to say this. If you had an encounter with a man in a wheelchair that you think I should know about, I will be in the back of church and I'd be happy to hear any experiences. We want to help, but we have to be careful not to be a magnet for certain things. Um, the other thing is, if anyone does want to go to confession, uh, just see me after Mass. I'll hang around in the back. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil.